We won attorney's fees from the state of Oklahoma. I'm told attorney James Worth. We got this check in the mail today, and that's what this video is about. Is it a check to pay for our attorney's fees in a case that the state filed against our client? That was a forfeiture case. And recent changes in the law allow you to get prevailing party attorney's fees if you win on a forfeiture case. What happened in this case? The state of Oklahoma alleged that somebody was um, dealing CDS, controlled dangerous substances, drugs, on my client's property. However, the, whether the person was doing that or not is irrelevant because what's important is if that, even if that person was doing it, it was not with the knowledge and consent of my client. So just because someone was doing a legal act on my client's property, which was many, many acres, doesn't mean they can steal that property and forfeit it to the state. And that's where my office was retained in order to fight for the rights to maintain their real estate because they did nothing wrong. Ultimately, we prevailed on that case and we even got the state of Oklahoma to pay um, $3,500 for our attorney's fee. So if you're dealing with a forfeiture action where the state of Oklahoma has filed alleging that someone has breached the law, um, violated a, a law related to the Controlled and Dangerous Substances Act, and is trying to take your vehicle, your money, or your land, you're probably going to want to talk to an attorney privately and confidentially about that. To speak with somebody at my office, you can go online to makelaweasy.com.